Today we will search for specific text within a field. For example, we have a number of uh, email addresses here that um, have university signatures at the end. We would like to be able to look at the email address and then calculate or figure out what university they belong to. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the search function. Now the search function will return the starting position of the text within the field. Um, so we'll go equals search and we'll type in uh, u of, of a and we are going to search within this field here and I'll press enter. So we returns the value of 9. So now we want it if it if it finds the text we want it to put the actual university name here instead of the 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an if function to the search. So we're going to start here and we're going to go if in front of the search and then so if now if this is greater than zero, so that if it finds the text, it will be greater than zero, then it's going to place the actual name of the university here. So there you have it. So that works perfectly well. Now the problem is, is that if you drag this down for the next universities, it's going to give you an error message because it didn't find it. Now how are you going to go from one text, um, text to the other is you're going to use the if error. If error in front of this we, so we can go in front of the original value is we'll go so if it brings you back an error then it's going to search for the next one so let's just fill in if error so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and then we'll start another so if it, the, if this one returns an error, it's going to go to the next one, but it'll also give you an error if it's wrong. So let's go if error again, if error, and we'll go if for our if function, and we'll go search, um, and then we're going to go search uh, u of c. How about we put quotation marks around that? U of C, quotation marks. And then we put a comma, and then we select the field, which is going to be the same field. And then we go end of the bracket, and then we'll go. So if this is greater than zero, so if it finds it, it will be greater than zero. And then it's going to place um, the actual name of the university. So it's uh, un if University of Calgary. Now, if it's not University of Calgary, let's put in another specific text. So if it if error so we'll go um, if again and we'll go search again
and we'll go for uh, A. Oops, excuse me. A U. And we'll be searching in that same field. Now, if it's greater than zero, it'll be true. And we're going to put in the name of the university, which is Athabasca Now we add up all our um, forward face facing brackets and we have to have um, three ending brackets. So we have one, two, three. And let's see how that works. So let's drag it down for the rest. And there you have it. There you have it, searching for specific texts within fields.